Okay, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, good evening to the uh, live YouTube AMA together with uh, Fanadise. Um, they are holding their IDO with uh, CDFI on the uh, 29th of July. Um, so we are together tonight with uh, Jacob uh, Schmilniak and Bartek Sibiga, uh, uh, founders from Fanadise. Uh, my name is Marcus, and I'm together with uh, George. Uh, we are from the CDFI Hotler team. Uh, we will be doing the interactive uh, AMA tonight uh, together with Fanadise. Uh, just to give you a bit of an uh, explanation about CDFI, uh, we are a, a blockchain innovation hub with a DAO driven uh, seed stage fund, decentralized incubator, and launchpad. Uh, that means that uh, right now, because we already have had a few IDOs, uh, two to be exact, this is going to be the third one. Uh, the launchpad is already uh, fully operational uh, and, and uh, ready for uh, Fanadise uh, in a few days. Um, so just a, a few things about how it works with CDFI. Um, we have a tier system. Uh, that means that if you're holding a 100 S fund, you participate in a lottery. If you're holding 1,000 or 10,000 S fund, you will be uh, receiving a guaranteed allocation to uh, buy tokens from the projects that are uh, launched through CDFI. Um, however, for this month, that means that we have the uh, IDO from uh, Fanadise and we will have an IDO coming up for uh, one more project. Uh, starting 1 August, uh, CDFI will change the tier system from a three tier system uh, where still one tier is a lottery to become a nine tier system without lottery um, with uh, more levels where it would be uh, easier to participate in all the uh, IDOs and the incentive to, to grow up on the, on the ladder in the tier system will also be uh, greater. Uh, then uh, George and me, uh, we are from the CDFI Hotler team. Uh, the CDFI Hotler team is a, a very dedicated group that started uh, operating uh, right after the launch of CDFI itself, uh, where we come together as Hotlers um, to discuss the, um, the CDFI project itself, uh, but also the IDOs that are being launched through uh, CDFI. Hello. Welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, assuming that we are live now, we have just passed 20 minutes already. Uh, we have decided that we are going to try to continue uh, where we were. Uh, so I'm just going to wrap the 20 minutes up in 30 seconds. Uh, tonight we are with Fanadise, uh, Jacob and Bartek, uh, both founders of Fanadise. Uh, Fanadise is going to be a company that is uh, um, aiming for disrupting the uh, NFT world when it comes to uh, influencer ownership of content. Um, they have introduced themselves. Uh, they've told uh, who they are. Um, for all of those of you that are watching, uh, we are very sorry that you uh, were unable to see the, the first 20 minutes live. Uh, we will try to um, uh, post edit uh, those first 20 minutes into what we are uh, reporting right now. So later you will be able to watch the uh, whole AMA together. Um, so we are going to uh, continue where we were. Uh, so we discussed the uh, Fanadise as influence utility uh, NFT platform. Uh, and <coughs> we discussed um, um, basically um, what Fanadise is about in its basics. And we were now going to continue to uh, the question um, where I explained a little bit about uh, other social media platforms on the market and uh, how Fanadise is going to intend to differentiate from existing ones that are not on the blockchain yet or potential projects that are on the blockchain already. Uh, either way, how Fanadise will differentiate from those existing projects. That's my question. Okay, it's, so, so, so I can start with it. Uh, so what, what, what we believe generally, the future of social media is into NFTs because right now social media are about 
you know, photos of yourself and, and videos. And we believe that the future of social media is about what you own, digital goods you have. And when we're looking at the young generation, like they're really, start, you know, they're spending like five, six hours a day on social media. So they really start to care how their profile, how their social status looks like. And the collectibles will be part of this social social profile uh, in the future. So I believe in the future, NFTs and uh, digital goods will be how you will define yourself and how you be build like respect in the social media. And that's what Fanada is, is ex exactly doing. So we want to be the, 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 the part of this the part of this solution and we want to be the leader of NFT so, NFT based social media, especially adding uh, extra utility to it. Uh, so that's what we were talking about uh, before that, that, that Fanada's main goal is to give holders as many benefits as, as we can. So fans can, you know, be the part of, of the journey of the influencer. They can make money on it and they can be super engaged in a totally new way. Because right now followers of on Instagram, they're just watching content, like they're passive. And in fa on Fanada, they're gonna be the holders. They're gonna be the owners of the content. Uh, so they will be like more part of it and they will be like more a part of growing together with, with influencer. That's, that's the future of social media we believe in. Yep. Okay. Thank you for that. Uh, uh, please continue, George. Since it's about influencers and all these kind of content, um, I want to know uh, what type of influencers um, do you focus on and how will you select or how can they apply to be part of it? Well, we, we on board, if you have a, a fan base, uh, regardless if you're a singer, athlete, actor, YouTuber, comedian, anything. If you are in the internet, if you have people that follow you, and if you are, let's say, a significantly big influencer, because we focus uh, mostly on people who are renowned and uh, have this quality, uh, we, we're not an open platform for now. We uh, we focus on what's uh, what will bring the biggest value to our community. Uh, then we are happy to onboard you. I mean, this is how we this is how we select and this is how we approach um, the creators. We're looking for high engagement, high quality, uh, interesting content that we don't have yet or that we know that it's gonna work yet. And this is our daily grind, just getting in touch, trying to make a deal, uh, and then working with them to maximize um, the effects of our mutual efforts. Okay. All right. Thank you for that. So um, the one thing um, I'm wondering, so now influencers are on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, um, whereas uh, Fanadise will be on the blockchain. Uh, do you guys believe that the uh, blockchain and, and, and perhaps cryptocurrency, the, the technical part of that can be a, a barrier for influencers to enter? And how do you trying to uh, lower this barrier if the, uh, that might be the case for them? Yeah, that's, that's really good question. And I totally agree. It is because when, when we are talking with some influencers, they're, they're kind of scared even of, of anything that is connected to, to cryptocurrency. So mm. our goal is uh, first of all to educate them and that's that's what we are already doing uh, second of all is you know by we did a big uh, pr campaign with with the love nft and someone can say it is like a kind of a stand like what wh why you do it but this is a way how people get interested in nft and then they, they, they are starting to learning about it and this is the way how you can you know make people talk about it for example our last campaign landed on biggest police tv station uh, we will be next week on uh, uk morning tv uh, we were also in the biggest newspaper in poland uh, yesterday and th they were you know it was this part about love nft but then there was a part about nft itself so this is this is the way where you step by step you're educating people, not only influencer. And then when, when they see, okay, uh, the biggest TV is talking about this, so so it has to be some kind of legit. And this is the way we're gonna educate influencer. We of course uh, we 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 also also preparing a lot of our video. We already done an NFT explainer, which was I think the first video on the Fanadise channel is uh, what, what is what is NFT. 
So, you know, th this is the way, this like many approaches of, of, uh, of how to do it. And this is from the influencer uh, part and from, from users part, uh, we're going to onboard them step by step. So, you know, what, what we want to do is, first of all, when you come to Fanada, you can pay with Visa, MasterCard, with a credit card, right? And it is super simple. And then you are re receiving your first NFTs. But you even don't have to know what is a cryptocurrency because it's so easy. It is like a custodial at the beginning and then you can claim it on the wallet. But, but you know, it's another step. So creating a wallet is another step. And this is really important, I think, in spreading crypto adoption and in what this is like one of the biggest fun and that goal. So we really onboard people step by step. And at the beginning, it will be super, super easy. I'm always comparing it to what, what Robin Hood and Revolu did with, with the stock market. So, you know, in, in, in Poland, like young people just buying Tesla stocks uh, via Revolu because it is so easy. You get only buy and sell button. And this way, I believe NFT is the best way uh, to onboard people into cryptocurrency spaces because they are less scared of nfts more scared about like coins so 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 that's that's the funnel we are build, building and that's the funnel how we're going to onboard like million of uh, new users into fun token so it's basically like going to the supermarket and or the shopping mall and by going to a shop and then i want this shirt in but instead of the shirt it's like i want the nft is it basically no uh, yeah, yeah yeah kind of but but you know, I, I'm always yeah, like 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 this whole 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 road. I'm always uh, comparing it to to mobile games. So you know, you are downloading a mobile game. It is cool because your influencer told you it is cool and you should try it. And when you download it, it's you, you can start to play with it. So so we are getting this custodial NFT. But then, if you want to have all the features uh, on on this platform. We are starting digging more into into the game, right? So we are buying, for example, gems, which in our case will be the fun token, right? So it will be like a premium gems, which allow you to use all the features. So it will be more like like a mobile game uh, way. The road, the, yeah, but but the supermarket, yeah, maybe maybe supermarket is also a good example of how it's gonna be. But yeah, it have to be super simple so everyone. Uh, can start doing it even if they got like zero knowledge in in nft or cryptocurrency space yeah yeah okay cool all right okay thank thank, thank you for thank that you. Uh, back to you george uh just you just talked about the fan token um how are we, how is it going to be used on fanada the fan token well uh it's like a ticket you can consider it a ticket to a game uh, it's something that, well, without the fan token, you'll be able to use our platform, but you'll be able to use like 20% of it. And the fan token is something that will give you access to all the NFT realm and uh, will allow you know to mint more NFTs, to get more packs, uh, to, to gain access to lotteries, uh, to get levels of subscri subscriptions you're not, uh, you know, you won't be able to use with fiat currencies. You can consider it a like a freemium model where you can you know, play the game, but like Bartek said, uh, at a certain point you need to uh, buy some gems, uh, some some coins from the game if you want to move further. Uh, and this is the same model we're aiming to uh, okay. to make make it entertainable by creating by making it some sort of a game. Yep. So you are basically. Um... <clears throat> Uh, making it a requirement uh, to to access the full content uh, uh, by using the uh, the fan token. So uh, when it comes to the subscriptions you have on your on your website, um, are, are those subscriptions uh, paid with so your currencies, both fiat and and fan token? They yeah. can they can choose if they want to pay full with yeah. uh, fiat or full with fan token. It's up to them. Yeah, there's more benefit if you pay with fun token, of, of course. You, you know, okay. on each dimension, there's going to be benefit uh, from okay. holding fun token, not only for uh, for users, but also for influencers. If they want okay. to, you know, get money in, in, in fun token, and they, they will also have, like, like a lot of benefits if, if they're going to be the holders of, of our token. So, so we are looking, like, all the dimensions. Same, if we onboard brand on Fanada, they will also have, a lot of benefits by, by by holding the fan tokens so 
so in all all dimensions uh, we 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 gonna yeah we, we you you will be better using fan token on our platform and it right. it will be also part of bigger ecosystem so 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 when you when you're looking at the different subscription levels there are different prices they are currently uh, lined out in in dollars so assume that for example the uh, the price for the fan token uh, fluctuates that basically means that if you would pay in fan tokens if the price goes up you use less tokens if the price goes down you use more tokens but the dollar value stays the same exactly Okay. Yeah, exactly. It, it will be, you know, but, but but it will be always always better to to you know to to use the fan token because we yep. we really want to have a big a big volume on it and we really want you know new users newcomers to to use this this crypto. So so that's that's our goal. Okay. Cool. Thank okay. you. Okay. Back to you, George. Um, since influencers are around the world, uh, is Fanadise bound to a specific region? Or is it possible for influencers around the world to join? Oh no, we definitely sign influencers from all, all over the world. Uh, we have teams dedicated to, to different regions, different markets, partners uh, on every continent. So from the beginning, we aimed uh, into creating a global phenomenon and this is what we are going to stick to. Okay, then, uh, since it's also around the globe, is going to be everything in English or is going to be something dedicated in another language? For example, I don't know, Spanish, French, uh, oh, Chinese? Layouts will definitely be accessible in different languages. Uh, just give us some time. It's, it's a technical issue. But yeah, okay. we'll definitely aim into... Same as you have with existing social media platforms. You can uh, select a different language. So we'll definitely follow. Yeah, already yeah, yeah. is in, in English yeah, and, or in, Chinese. Yeah, and I think in, in, there's also a Russian edition of fanadise.com. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that, that's quite important, but you have time for that. So, um, because we missed out the uh, first 20 minutes uh, on the live stream, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap the last questions into one question. So, we have still have a little bit of time for the community to uh, put some live questions in. Um, so the last two questions are uh, basically um, uh, the the security, uh, the security audit for the smart contracts. Uh, have you already performed those? And uh, if not, uh, are you willing to share some information about the company you are using for that? And uh, second, uh, who else are you guys uh, working with? Uh, who do you want to share, uh, like uh, other team members? So we are already audited by Hacken. Um, that's the first thing. And uh, secondly, in terms of our partners, well, we try to team up with uh, different companies from outside crypto and from inside crypto. So uh, we, there are like NFT companies like Uniquely, Engine, uh, also companies like Chainlink. We work closely with Binance. Uh, Right now, all the all the uh, IDO platforms, which we have quite a lot, show that we are skillful in uh, making deals with with our partners. So this is this is something amazing in crypto world that you can easily yep. get that many partners and uh, and grow yep. your, your brand uh, working together with other people. Yeah. So so the, I just add a short question. So we're gonna have IDO and CDFI, uh, but I believe I read there's gonna be three IDOs in total, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah. are, you, are you willing to share the other thing? Yeah, because we are going to be at PSC Pad, uh, okay. Lightning, Pools, DuckDAO, and CD5. Okay, so four more, four in total, basically. <laughs> okay, thank you for sharing. Um, so we're going to the community questions now. Um, can we get the community questions in the screen, uh, if you are? Uh, please, what milestones after listing are planned ahead in the next six months, one year, and five years? Oh, big question. <laughs> You know, in okay. five years, we're going to be bigger than Facebook. Uh, <laughs> in one year, I would say a billion dollars revenue. And in six months, uh, how many users, Bartek? million users? Oh, we, we got 25K users right, right now. And to be honest, we didn't even start it because it's still MVPs. I, 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 I believe it's just really for the... promoting the website. Hmm. I believe it's set for the six so, months, yeah. uh, five, 500 uh, influencers, I believe, creators, something like that. 
Yeah, yeah, but but we are thinking how many users it can be. Okay. So yeah, I I think like for sure hundred thousand of users, but but yeah, hard to say. You know, we are really 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 pushing pushing development, uh, but of course there are some little delays in 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 development as 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 always. But we just launched our our wallet uh, last week, and and yeah, and 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 it is we, we are doing our best to, to move fast. Our team is like super experienced, experienced. So I, I think yeah, let's say few hundred thousand users, and yeah, it it's gonna give us like over over a million USD revenue in in like six months by the end of the year. That's 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 our goal from the product side. Okay, That's very okay. interesting. All right back to you, George. Okay, I have a question from someone on Telegram that asked the right now. A cryptocurrency was created in a way that founders are somewhat anonymous. And with the information you've been talking about, uh, don't you think that anonymity factors off? I suppose, yes, because if you are influencer, you are not anonymous. But uh, also knowing that a creator content has some has has made some money. Uh, would that not open ways for more tax so people won't join? I don't know if you understand the question. No, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, so first, sure. first, first question is uh, crypto is very about anonymity. About with uh, what Fanatize wants to do with influencers, there will be that part of anonymous uh, be taken apart. How do you think that this will deal with people that will, I don't know, people will try to evade taxes by crypto, but since I, I, it's a very hard question. Yeah, I don't know yeah, how- yeah. I mean, we do not support evading taxes. We are not uh, an organized crime company. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I think what's, what's really important in this question is we are building a mainstream product, uh, which has to be 100% legit. And yeah, we, I know there are people who are using crypto in different ways, but, but, but we want to be next generation Facebook. We, we need to be mainstream. We are working with top brands. Like, like, you know, I told you, like we went to onboard Samsung, Disney, et cetera, et cetera. So, so we are going like totally mainstream. Our goal is to spread adoption of crypto to, to my grandparents and, and other, which, which, you know, it's funny because we already did it. After after this article in in biggest Polish newspaper, they, they were asking me, oh my god, that they want to <laughs> invest something in fundraising. I'm not kidding. My my grandpa came with with money and told me how I can put it into your token. After after this article, so so yes, so we want those kind of people, like the mainstream people, and not really focusing. Uh, like there are other pro projects where you can be anonymous and you can use them for. I don't know what purpose, but yeah. So, so the, next time, the next time your grandfather comes to you, um, tell him you have to buy S fund first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully he will understand it. <laughs> All right. Do we have another question? Do we see Vanadise also listing on uh, DEX like Uniswap, uh, one inch or bakery swap? Our listing plans are first pancake swap, then uh, KuCoin, then Binance. Yeah, because I believe the pancake swap listing is planned for the 29th, isn't it? Precisely. Precisely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, next Just question, after please. IDO. Uh, yeah, exactly. Next question. George? Hey, okay, sorry. Uh, since the listing price is going to be such high from the pre sales and other sales, how will the team aim to retain the initial buyers? You know, for example, not a bot buying at the price and then selling. It's not, it's not that high. Uh, we are not a project that uh, gave people, you know, times 50 from the pre-sales. It's often that a project will sell their tokens to VCs uh, with very low prices and then you see all the dumping. We had completely different strategy. Uh, difference between pre-sale and listing price is only times three because we highly emphasize that this is a long-term project. And if you want to make X50, uh, it's not that you hold for one month. You need to hold for one year, maybe two years, then you will get your times 50. Uh, so this is, our, this, is our, this is our strategy here from the beginning. We structured our, our tokenomics to avoid any dumping at, at any stage. 
Okay, I have another question. I don't think anyone asked or maybe something similar. Uh, do you fear that some of the influencer or content creators that join that join Fanadise, they that they will do like something like an OnlyFans or something bad that you don't want? And how will you deal with it? It's yeah, uh, you, choice what we publish. You, we, you mean we, like PR crisis, right? Uh, we, we have we have a certain terms and conditions, and uh, if there is content that's being published that it doesn't align to our TNC, then we just delete the content. And okay. yeah, pornography is uh, is uh, uh, in terms and conditions as something that they can't publish. Okay, okay. Then uh, I, I don't know. Okay, um, so another question. Will Fanadise, I assume he uh, means the fan token, uh, will it be possible to stake the fan token? I mean, sure, both uh, you'll be able to stake fan to receive more fans, but mostly we will be, uh, we are developing uh, uh, all these mechanisms when you stake fan token, but you get NFTs in exchange. So this is our main goal, to uh, take this DeFi staking model and bring it to NFTs. And we hope that it's going to be huge because of that. Yeah, and, and in a way that also works uh, deflationary, uh, yeah. I, I can assume. Yeah, it removes token from the market, so it's... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, next question. Back to you, George. Uh, what's that single utility that says you apart from the others? I think you already answer this on the about yeah, i think it was on the first uh, link so if you want to answer it and if you are a company looking for investors how do you convince me to invest in fanatize yeah you already answer it but in case they didn't uh, record it or something if you want to answer it in a like little sentence or in two minutes yeah, okay, so, so I think the most important uh, part of Fanadise is that we gonna use, we gonna connect influencers to NFT, but in the way with utility NFTs. So people will have, you know, NFTs right now are really about like a speculative assets. So people are buying cheap to sell it in the future, but we believe the future of NFTs is in holding and holding benefits. So what we are developing and what we are trying to achieve is as many benefits for the holders of NFTs and as we can have. An example can be that when influencer is working, let's say with, with Samsung, he's an ambassador. So if you are holding his NFT, you're getting discounts to all the Samsung products. What's more, when they release a new product, you will have it before before everyone else because you are a holder of, of NFT of an influencer. So all these kinds of benefits, there, there can be also benefits uh, related to content. So if you are an NFT holder of influencer, you will be added to his Instagram close friends. Or if you, or when you are a holder, you got access to private chat and more and more. So, so we got like plenty of ideas to test it. And I think this is the, the biggest thing which, which, which totally, uh, you know, in comparing to other platforms when they are not really thinking about liquidity of nfts and about the future of nfts but they want to just sell something because it's it's super hot right now and i i believe that the utilities is a total future and that that's something which will make fanada is great okay okay thanks i don't know if there is any more questions okay, let's if move not. on to the next live question um about Fanadise Digital DNA, is it going to be a scorecard for creators and will there be a leaderboard? When will it come to fruition and ready for public access? And why does website have no mention of it? Yeah, okay, maybe I'll answer it because this is something what we've been developing for like already, I think, five years. And we are doing it not for Fanadise, but in, in DDOB, my influencer marketing agency. And this system is like uh, first purpose was to have all the statistic and all the data about influencer for the brand. So, you know, when the brand wants to cooperate with influencer, they want to know how many fake followers he got, what is the engagement rate, uh, how, how many times they post like sponsorship uh, photos, et cetera, et cetera. And we, we, we build the system, but now we see we can, uh, we can use it in, uh, in Fanadise. And what we did is we created API, so so it is already connected to Fanadise, but but it's 
still in like test mode, MVP mode. And yeah, we, we need to adjust it a bit uh, to, to the fanatize, but this is, this is something really important. And, and this question is really good because, you know, in the future, there will be also fanatize.com, which will be the hub, the, the, the center for the fans when you will be able to buy uh, packs of different influencers. And then th there have to be some measurement which can allow you to compare influencer from China with influencer from, let's say, Italy, right? And this is digital DNA. This is where we want to use digital DNA and it will make all the creators and all NFT like more, I don't want to say Pokemon cards, but, but something like this, you know, mm -hmm. so, so you, will, you will be able to compare two influencer. And even though you, you are purchasing a pack, right? And you're getting influencer which you don't know, but you can see his score, you can see his all the ratings, and that's how you can evaluate them. And our goal, which is super important, is that our system will be a standard of measurement of influencer. And if we can achieve it, we're gonna be number one player on the market. Okay, okay. And why, why is it not on the on the website right now? Because yeah. Yeah, we still need to develop it. We are early stage, so, so it's going to be soon. Okay. I think I, we, we're going to ask two more questions. I read one that I really like it. But we can, we, we, it that wasn't what that wasn't the one. But okay. When you mention as big as Facebook, it takes a lot of resources and talent to be there. Um, are you getting more talents and more people uh, to be there one day? Like, are you recreating or something? I mean, this is a natural process. You just, this is how we create a company. You recruit people, uh, you train them, then you recruit more, you create teams. Uh, this is this is how you build every single company, regardless if it's Facebook or, uh, or, a, or a power plant or uh, any other consultant company, anything. You always go, you, you, don't, you don't hire, you know, 10,000 people at, uh, at one day. You create teams in different countries, offices. It obviously takes time. Uh, it's it's uh, for me. It's pretty obvious. It took me, you know, ten years to create a two hundred people company. So I know how much effort uh, you need to take to to build a team. But that's a completely natural process. And regardless what sort of company you're building, uh, you will have to do that. So yeah, we're obviously aware of it, and I'm sure that we're going to succeed. Okay. Yeah, I'm, qu I'm quite sure you guys have a few advantages over Facebook, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, we're going to do the last question for tonight and then we're going to uh, round it up and then uh, close off for tonight. Uh, from, from the website, it says Vanadise will allow users to upgrade their NFTs to a higher level by using already owned moments. Uh, could you please explain uh, how this will happen and uh, is there a, a payment required for this? Yeah, we, we call it fun upping. Uh, so the, the fun up is the feature which allow it. It's also something with what we really want to use to bring more liquidity into the space. So the general idea is, for example, you get five common uh, NFTs of, of one influencer, like same kind. So you can upgrade those five common into one rare and those five common will get burned. So, so it is like the, the mechanism which allow people to, first of all, burn NFTs, which, which is good for, for like, like total supply and which is good for, for their value. Uh, second of all, it, you know, imagine you are a user and you got free NFTs, free common NFTs of one influencer of, of specific uh, type. So, you know, you can upgrade it into rare, but you need two more. So we are going to the secondary market to buy those two. And this is how, you know, you, you bring more liquidity into, into the space. So, so this is like really important part of Fanadise. It is not live yet. And we are still, you know, we, we, we got the best guys from game designs uh, who are helping us to, to really design this, this gamifica, because this is a gamification, right? So this ga gamified uh, part of Fanadise. And yeah, I believe it's going to be a lot of fun and, 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 and it's going to be super, super interesting. It does indeed okay. sound interesting. Uh, I have to honestly say the whole project sounds very, very interesting. The, the whole social media, which in my opinion, and I think in the opinion of many uh, people all over the world can use a bit of a, 
a bit of a refreshment uh, with Facebook and uh, and Instagram out there uh, basically uh, dominating the <laughs> yeah, world right time. now. <laughs> it's the same company. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So and and uh, the the privacy problems uh, that there are uh, in in a way, uh, hopefully uh, NFTs can uh, protect at least some of that. Uh, I, I think with the security of blockchain, that's possible. Um, so uh, I, I think we're gonna round it off for tonight. Um, um, unless you guys want to add something, just some close your words, uh, like uh, go out, buy the IDO, or you know something else. <laughs> no, we, we, we are not the sellers, you know. We, we, no. what, we <laughs> what we can say is, and what we are sure we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna build a great company in the future, but it will take not one year, not two years, but probably longer. As as Kuba told you, like his last company, he was building 10 years. I was building DDOB six years. And right now it's working like perfectly. So it always takes time. And we are the long-term project. We are the the long-term focused founders. Uh, so, so this is our main goal. And this is what we're gonna deliver because we, we yeah, that's what we made. This is for. why it doesn't really matter if you buy fan token at you know twelve cents at IDO or fifteen cents or or twenty cents post listing because eventually this is gonna be worth so much more. Uh, for us, we are not into pumping and dumping, so it's a it's a safe investment. Buy the tokens, yeah. uh, perhaps stake them later for some NFTs. Yeah. And then just uh, you know, in a couple of years, you'll be you'll be amazed, and uh, this is the uh, best thing you can do right now. Yeah, but yeah. of course, check IDO with CD5. We're gonna have <laughs> yes. on Thursday. So, so there's actually one thing, an another thing that we would like to add, uh, if you guys uh, don't mind, because we uh, we're doing a, a 100 BUSD giveaway for tonight, uh, based on the uh, tweets that were uh, being performed by people. Um, uh, so we actually already chose the winners uh, before this no, AMA. No, 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 not, not yet. I'm gonna do it live if you are okay with it. I, oh, sorry. I'm so gonna... you wanna you wanna choose the winners now? Yes, I'm. I'm gonna if, if it's okay, I'm gonna share my screen and I, you will see it live. So oh, okay. people doesn't okay. say yeah, anything. Yeah. So everything okay. is live. So it's okay. okay? Yeah, if I'm you share do the... two minutes. Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, are you seeing my screen now? Uh, well, you are not. I just wanna say do it in so people doesn't uh, think uh, it's uh, it's rugged or anything. I don't know if people if you are seeing it or no. I don't think so. If you are not seeing seeing it to me, I'm not seeing anything yet. <laughs> I, except, I'm sharing. Except, except I, I think I, th <laughs> I think the uh, the team like uh, Sebastian or Sefir has to share it if not i'll just i'll just say send do a screenshot and that's okay so i'll give uh, 10 seconds or 20 seconds if not it's a shame i i can record with my phone so people uh, think it's okay if you if you, if you if you go to share you can share the window you can select the application that you have open and then you can uh share no, 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 I, there. Right, right now i'm i'm sharing i'm sharing sharing everything so but I, I, I doesn't appear on screen. Okay, so I, I think we're just gonna announce it after the AMA. Uh, but uh, at least uh, uh, we guaranteed the integrity of our host uh, George when it comes to selecting the winners. So it's all being done random. So um, that's all good. I wouldn't worry there. Uh, we will announce it uh, very soon after this AMA. I would like to express my thanks, a lot of thanks to to uh, Jacob and Bartek for joining us tonight in this AMA. Um, I cannot say what the community will think, but I can say uh, what I think myself. And I can see in the both of you that you are very committed to Fanadise, uh, not only committed, but also enthusiastic about it and uh, with a good vision and, and, and thought about it very well. Um, so that is, uh, from my perspective, uh, very uh, good, very positive. So yeah, that, that's really awesome. So yeah, uh, once again, thank you both for being here. Uh, also, thank you, George, for thank being you, with me and helping me out, helping uh, um, uh, with everything. Thank you for uh, all the community uh, members from CDFI Hodlers. I hope there were also some people from the Fanadise community. I also hope there were some uh, people from the official Fanadise team or a CDFI team that joined us tonight, or perhaps even other people from outside that have not yet invested in either S Fund or another Launchpad or uh, haven't bought any uh, fan tokens yet. Uh, I hope this video helped you to uh, get a bit under, uh, better understanding about Fanadise. 
And uh, if you were uh, planning to buy, but you weren't sure yet, I hope you uh, know now what to do. Um, so yeah, if you if you like this video um, after it's being posted on the YouTube, uh, feel free to subscribe and like. And we've got more AMAs coming up with uh, other projects that are being launched through uh, cdfi.fund. Um, so yeah, uh, everyone, thank you for watching and see you at the next AMA. Let's keep in touch. Bye. Right, thank you. Bye-bye.